Hello, my name is Erica Gray. I'm from Henrico, Virginia. I'm here today because my home state has been left out of conversation. It has not been in the news. It has not been in the newspapers. Yet our state capital is in 50 miles radius of two aging nuclear power stations, North Anna and Surrey. Yesterday, Reuters put out from Tokyo, Wednesday, November 13, 2013. Fukushima, now the tough part. The operation of Japan's crippled Fukushima nuclear power plant uh, will this week begin removing 400 tons of highly radiated spent fuel in a hugely delicate and unprecedented operation fraught with risk carefully plucking out more than 1,500 brittle and potentially damaged fuel assemblies from the plant's unstable reactor number four. It's supposed to take about a year and will be seen as a test of Tokyo Electric's power company's ability to move ahead in de decommissioning the whole facility and would likely take decades and cost tens of billions of dollars. The world is watching as we hold our breath. What about the human cost? The NRC uses the acronym ALARA, A-L-A-R-A, -A -A, in nuclear dealings. As low as is reasonably achievable, which means making every reasonable effort maintaining exposures on ionizing radiation as far as below the low dose limits as practical. I mean, mind you, there is nothing practical that's going on in Fukushima. We don't even have the technology that's needed in this ongoing crisis. And what we've seen in, in Japan is they simply raise the dose level that's accepted and do we actually think things would be different here? Essentially, the people in Japan have been turned into test subjects. Shame, shame, this is criminal. What about the children that are most susceptible to radiation? For decades, the NRC has licensed and relicensed reactors knowing, not knowing what to do with the highly radioactive spin fuel. Kick the can around for decades. The NRC has been complacent, submissive, and accommodating to the nuclear energy industry. The NRC needs to put people in the environment first. We need real-time monitoring. The people in Japan fled into areas of high radiation. The NRC should be required to post Nuclear events and status reports seven days a week, not this five days a week with holidays off. The USGS provides 24-7 reporting, so can the NRC. And finally, you all need to focus on waste, securing the waste, not producing more of it no confidence in making more of it. Thank you. Okay, thank you.